If you have been watching the new season of The Kardashians, then hopefully you are as bedazzled and be baffled as I have been over Kim Kardashian's glam. I can't get over it. I have been watching every episode, literally like jaw on the floor, drooling, transfixed on the makeup of both Kim actually and Chloe. Like they look amazing. You have to respect the artistry, respect the glam. I need to know how to do this makeup look. So I have done all of my <laughs> my TikTok research. I have been stalking the internet trying to find all of the information on how both Makeup by Ariel as well as Makeup by Mario have been doing this glam because they've kind of been, you know, doing it together. It's like one day's a Mario day, one day's an Ariel day, you know? Anyway, I'm obsessed and I'm gonna try to recreate the makeup look today. So I have tried to pull together all of the products, all of the information as much as possible. Specifically, Makeup by Ariel did a fabulous, very long in-depth video with Patrick Starr detailing a lot of his tips and tricks. And it's a lot, it's a lot. I've got a big note on all of the things and I'm gonna do my best to break it down today. I also ordered the Makeup by Ariel Morphe brushes because he uses these brushes and honestly, when I watched the video, I was like, damn, I've been really checked out of this. <laughs> I haven't paid attention. I haven't seen a lot of his makeup tips. It's like, once you notice something, then you really notice it. Now I've gone on a deep dive and um, based on my research, I simply had to have his brushes uh, to do this video with. So ordered the little set. Here's all the brushes in the kit today. So we're gonna be using these and we're gonna try to recreate the Kim Kardashian. Very natural, very soft, succulent glam. My friends, let's zoom you in. <laughs> let's try to turn ourselves into Kim K. So in the video, he started with the brows. I just went ahead and did my brows. We're gonna be starting with the eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime the face just cause my skin is so, so, so dry. I'm gonna apply the little Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base and just make sure that we are getting some succulent oozingness onto the skin and letting that soak in because it's quite a thick, very luscious moisturizer. So I'm just gonna put that oh, all around my mouth because I'm just so, so dry and tight here. So we're gonna let that soak in while we start with the eyes. Okay, so the first thing he does is take a lighter concealer and he cuts the brow. I'm gonna do a good makeup artist technique and I'm not gonna apply it directly onto my face. From the Dove It applicator, I'm going to take it with a brush. So let's take his little A29 brush. Is that the one? Sure, let's do it. So I'm taking my Makeup Forever self-setting concealer. This is the lighter shade, shade 22. And I'm gonna use this lovely little brush and we're gonna cut out the eyebrow. So I'm just gonna drag that along. One thing to note that this is going to be my interpretation of his makeup skills, okay? The video that he filmed with Patrick Starr, they said that they were filming that makeup look for seven hours and Makeup by Ariel himself stated that he loves to really take his time and go slow as he's applying makeup. We don't have that kind of time here, my friends. So we're gonna be doing an expedited, interpreted version of this makeup. Let me just make that clear, okay. So he's taking this lovely little lighter concealer. We're chiseling out the brow. You know, with my own free will, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that here because I just have a lot of darkness and blueness right in this little inner corner area. Then we're gonna take a deeper shade, a deeper shade of the concealer. I used 22, now I'm gonna go in with shade 30. And he used this on the lid and in the crease to start chiseling out a natural looking crease, which I thought was interesting. I don't know if there's like enough of a discrepancy between these two. Oh yeah, you know what? Actually, it looks pretty, it looks pretty significantly different. So I'm just gonna use that on the lid and in the crease. And he said it just creates like a natural kind of little transition. So from here, he goes in with powder and sets both the eyes and the brows. So I'm taking the A32 brush and I'm going to dab this on top of the eyelid, setting it all in and then also setting the brow, which I thought was a very fun tip and will help the brows to just look more part of the face, perhaps. Something that we should actively do more often. Look at that smoothness. The eyes are primed and ready for shadow. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Makeup by Mario. Master Matte's palette felt very fitting. Makeup by Mario does magical work on Kim Kardashian's eyes, but we're, we're mainly following the Ariel routine. But I thought that this would be a very fitting palette to use. So let's go here. We're gonna start with a lighter transition shade. Put that all over. I'm gonna use the A11 brush. <sighs> How deep are we thinking here? You know, I think, I think like kind of deeper. So let's, let's start with this shade right here with this lovely fluffy brush. And we're gonna use that as the transition shade. This brush 
is so soft. I'm really trying to channel Ariel's soft, soft touch. Patrick Starr commented on how soft his touches were. So I'm holding the brush like very, very far down the handle, trying to get the ultimate softness. And we're just gonna be carving out the crease here. Now, if I do recall this correctly, he also took this on the nose, but also like, I have a very different nose from Patrick Starr. You know, he was using this transition shade to like carve out the nose, but I already have like a dip here. So I feel like that doesn't <laughs> have the same desired effect on me. So maybe we won't focus on that as much and we'll just focus this on the eye. Next, I'm gonna take the A20 brush and dip into this lovely little deeper brown here. And we're gonna use that to further carve out the crease as well as the outer, the outer bit, the outer bit of the eye. So I'm just gonna really lightly place that. Again, very soft brush, stunning. I'm just placing that right here. Just kind of packing that on and we're just gonna blend that out on this outer portion of the lid and just slightly into the crease. And might I just say, I really loved this really light, soft, natural, smoky approach to the eye. It's very much in line with what I like to do on a daily basis. It's also how I love to interpret my glam. I don't like to go too heavy with the shadow, even though right there I might've gone too far up into the crease, but that's okay. We're just gonna try to blend it out and soften it out. <laughs> so now that I've blended to my heart's content, I'm gonna go back to the concealer that I left on my hand. I'm gonna take this little mini A18 brush, which is the brush I believe he used in the video. And I'm just gonna kind of mix the two of these concealer shades together and we're gonna cut all the crease, which is what he did. And he seemed to go very slowly and take his time doing this. And also noted that he like brought the crease towards the nose. Like he didn't dip down to the inner corner of the eye. He took it to the side of the nose, which I thought was interesting. So I'm doing my best to like find that line right here. And we're just gonna do our best to carve out this line. It's actually really, it feels very good with this small little brush. And I think this is just gonna nicely like clean up this area and clean up the look. I like it. This is not something that I do often with my makeup. It's something that I feel like I would benefit from a lot from my more glam makeup. But I thought this little tip of bringing it to the nose was very interesting and like a nice way to also hit that inner corner with the concealer. I don't know why this side is like so much more clean than this side. I don't know what's happening, but we're just gonna take all the after picks on this side, okay? We're just gonna ignore this side together. <laughs> what happened? I'm just going back in with that little shader brush and I'm just gonna blend over top of this, maybe dip into that little crease shade a little bit if we need, just to try and melt these together. So next up is eyeliner. I've got this lovely little Bobbi Brown Espresso Ink Gel Eyeliner. In the video with Patrick Starr, he was using black, but black can feel a little bit harsh on me. So I'm gonna go for this brown. It's a very, very deep brown. So we're gonna get the like almost there effect. And I, I could have sworn that there was meant to be an eyeliner brush in this thing. He was talking about his eyeliner brush. And I'm like, did I just totally miss the eyeliner brush? Is that not in the set? So it's a good thing that we've got our own eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little eyeliner. I'm just gonna, ooh, you know, I haven't used this in quite some time. I'm gonna take some off on the back of my hand and we're going to, which you can see, it's like, it's like very dark. Also, please don't mind my Apple. Oh my God, my Apple Watch circle in my tan. That is so sad. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do a little gel liner moment. He also went very, very slowly with this and kind of actually, sorry, I just started in my normal natural way that I do. He actually really focused on like filling in along the lash line before doing the flick and I just went straight in and I'm so sorry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this liner and do my best. He also talked about taking it more horizontally, which is something that we together here on this channel have been trying to do more of. And so just kind of following more straight out and less up towards the brow with the liner. So I've done the wings. Now I'm just gonna take a really, really small little detail 
tiny little pointy eyeliner brush and bring that all the way along straight to my inner corner. It doesn't look like, like in all these photos of Kim, for example, it doesn't look like she has a really thick liner, but there's definitely something. So I'm just gonna try taking this in a really, really delicate manner all the way down to the inner corner. Just so softly and delicately. So there's something there, but it's not like, ooh, she's wearing a thick black eyeliner. It's just a little kiss of depth along the lashes. So that's the liner applied. I love the effect of this gel liner in the inner corner. We're gonna leave the eyes alone for now and we're gonna switch to the face. So grabbing the foundation brush from this set and also the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. There were a number of TikToks uh, that took like screen recordings of makeup by Ariel during lives saying that he loves this putty primer from e.l.f. which is really exciting because this is also one of my favorites. And so I'm just gonna take some out with my finger and kind of like apply the brush onto that. I don't really know how this is gonna feel on my face, but I thought it was really interesting that he applied this putty primer with a brush. So I'm going to take the foundation brush and just apply that onto the face, which I thought was very interesting. So I'm just gonna really lightly apply that all over. My pores are the biggest, like right around this nose and under eye area. It feels so weird applying it this way, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a go. Foundation brush feels very nice and soft. It's a lot less dense than a lot of the foundation brushes that I use. It's much more soft and fluffy. Then we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm taking my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have this one in the shade five. And I'm gonna apply this on the skin with the foundation brush starting from this, starting from like the outside of my face and I'm gonna work my way in. And I just pumped that onto the back of my hand, working from the back of my hand, trying to use a small amount of this and just apply it onto the neck as well, making sure that everything is nice and blended in. So the foundation's applied. Next, we're gonna move on to a cream contour. And I was actually surprised he like said out loud that he doesn't like a very like intense chiseled contour. He likes it to be really natural. From what I gathered in the particular Patrick Starr video, he actually used just like a deeper shade of foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay bronzer, which is just like a nice like lighter version of the very heavy bronzer that I love to apply onto my face. And instead of applying it directly onto my face, I'm gonna go in with the little contour brush that he has in the set. And I'm just gonna like really lightly stipple that onto the skin and try to make it as light as possible, for me, anyway. <laughs> and just really, really lightly blend that in. I'm gonna go all around my face. I'm starting on my cheekbones and I'm gonna blend that all the way up onto the temple as well. On my jawline. And I'm also gonna take a smaller shaded brush and I'm gonna use this to chisel out my nose as well and try to be as crisp and accurate as I can. And I'm just bringing that like right up to the brow and kind of blending it down. And then just the little lines here to create that button nose effect. So now that we've applied the cream contour slash bronzer, we're going to concealer again. And I'm taking this A19 brush and he used this to conceal and highlight. And he goes right up in here underneath the eye. Oh, sorry. And just drew a line like down the side of the nose and kind of blended that out. This is a lovely flat paddle brush for this also. And then I'm just dragging that concealer kind of around where I want the concealer, AKA on this entire patch on my <laughs> face. And then also uses that to apply the concealer like underneath the liner in this eye area. Actually, I think he used that smaller side for that, but that's okay. We've already done it. <laughs> So anywhere that you want to apply highlight and concealer, which for me is like down here, I guess Patrick Star technically didn't have any like blemishes to cover. I've got a little bit of blemish there, so I'm just probably gonna apply a little bit more of that concealer right there. <laughs> and then he drew a line down the nose. I think that was already too thick, my bad. I'm just gonna go back to the Bondi Bay and redraw that line. Oops, hee <laughs> Wow, it looks so stark against the concealer now. <laughs> Highlighting and concealing with the concealer. Okay, and then the brush set also came with the sponge. So I have just dampened this sponge and he went ahead and blended out this concealer with the sponge. And so I am going to do the same. Oh shoot. Sorry, oops. He didn't actually blend out the concealer on the nose. So let's just take a little bit more and just leave it there. 
How is this line so straight? How does he do it? So then we're just gonna leave that concealer for a hot sec and go into a liquid blush. So I have the NARS Orgasm liquid blush here. I'm gonna take a little, little bit because a little bit goes a long way with this. And he uses the same contour brush to just apply the tiniest little bit. So I'm just gonna like dip the brush into the liquid blush, really lightly pat that right on top. I'm just kind of dipping between the foundation brush as well as that brush that we've now applied. Just making sure that that's like nice and soft and seamless. I think I even used like more than he used. It was like the tiniest little amount, but just to give a little kiss of color to the cheeks. Okay, cute. All right, all right. And then we're going into the powder. And I'm, I'm kind of like astounded at how many different powders and how much powder, how many layers of powder goes onto the face. I, I don't understand. He didn't explicitly show all the different powders, but from what I gathered, there's just a lot of powder to lock in the makeup, create that completely seamless, blurred, soft effect. And I grabbed all the powders that I have and I'm gonna do my best to do it. But for my under eye like baking that he does now, I'm gonna use the Givenchy powder because I think this just looks so beautiful under the eyes. And it looks like that he went straight in with that sponge with the powder. So I'm just gonna dip the sponge into the Givenchy powder take a lot of the excess off on the back of my hand and use this to set that under eye. He then had a different sponge to like specifically bake on the nose. I'm just gonna, oh. <laughs> he says, and I quote, for every cream I use, there's a powder or two to go along with it. So listen. <laughs> So that's the under eye and the nose that we tragically attempted. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyway, then on the rest of the face, it looks like he's going between like a loose powder and a pressed powder. He's using a powder puff. He's using a brush. Like he's just going all over the place. So I'm just, this is where like my interpretation is going to come into effect. So I got the Laura Mercier puff with a Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to take a layer of this. Boop. Pat off the excess. Get it all over my pants. Press this all over the face. <laughs> it just feels so wrong. <laughs> but like, it makes sense. It makes sense, especially for these people who are on TV. I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. You want to be soft and blurry. And then it looks like he uses like a lighter shade to actually highlight around the face. So I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and use that to softly like highlight, if you will. So he's using like a powder to bake, he's using a powder to set the under eyes, but then it's also like he's using light, medium, and deeper powders to like actually transition the face. So the only other powder that I would consider using maybe is this Pat McGrath under eye powder. It's a blurring under eye powder specifically. And so I'm just gonna use this with the all over like powder brush and just use that to add a final little layer of blur, which again, just feels so counterintuitive for me. I don't know, ooh, that one, it kind of feels like it's got a little bit of a shine to it. Interesting. You know that song that's like, I got the power. How I feel about this is, I got the powder. <laughs> So then he does a final layer of baking, but he said this because Patrick has super oily skin. So I feel like we can just skip that final powder, pop, lock and drop it step. Do we agree? So we're just gonna leave the powder there. Let's go back to the eyes. We're gonna go back to the palette here, use our lovely little brown shades and apply that to the lower lash line. I'm just gonna dip into the, the two brown shadows that we used here and apply that to the lower lash line. And he says that he actually likes to take this really far down for like an ultimate blurred look and effect, which I love. I also feel like it just helps, especially if you have a lot of like fine lines, little wrinklies under the eyes, which I do. I have quite intense, deep <laughs> lines under my eyes. And this just helps to make it look nice and blurry. Then taking a light colored eyeliner pencil and using that to line the waterline, give it a nice fresh open look. Love that, it gives a nice fresh awake look. Then we're gonna take a smaller, very detailed brush and dip it into black shadow. And he uses a very small amount of this just right along the lower lashes, really nice and tight into the lash. Whenever I do this, I like to think of like just connecting it to the liner. And we're only taking that to about the halfway point. And then it looks like he just took a smaller little pencil brush to just really softly blend that out. So 
So then it's time for blush. Now there's a lot of different videos on TikTok and YouTube specifically talking about which blush Ariel uses. And there's a few, he's mentioned a few particular products on his lives and whatnot. There was a Sephora collection one that went viral. There was a Chanel one that went viral, but in the video specifically with Patrick Starr, he, <laughs> he mentioned that he had a palette of like 16 different blushes and was just mixing between them. So I just decided to use the pink blushes that I have. It looked to be like a really nice, fresh, bright, cool tone pink, my favorite thing. So I'm gonna take the Dior Backstage Blush because I felt like that was the one that kind of, it fit the bill. It fit the bill, my friends. This is the A22 Blush Brush. It looks like he just uses a really, really soft hand with this. So I'm just gonna dip in there. Get the blush nice and in these bristles. This is a super, super soft, fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna, it looks like he just kind of like kisses the very, very tops of the cheeks with this. This is so soft, so, so soft. He's kind of like famous for the blush. Everyone's blushes always look so delicious and alive and beautiful and succulent. And after that placement of blush, he then goes in with a contour powder. And again, it didn't look very, very deep when he was using it. It seemed to be something very natural, very cool toned. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm gonna load this up on the brush, but then I'm really gonna tap it off and try to be super, super light and soft with my placement of this. And he kind of just took this really, really lightly and softly on the perimeters of the face. And he was really lightly just kind of hitting underneath the blush as well. So once the contour is applied, then he goes in and, and bakes more powder, more powder onto the face. So I'm gonna take my little triangle puffy puff here, our loose powder, and he uses that to chisel underneath the cheeks. Am I doing that right? And the entire time he's just kind of like going in and like adding more powder around, adding more brightness, kind of dipping between like the blush and the contour and the powder. And he's just really softly like diffusing all of the things together. And I think it's interesting because we so often here on this channel do that with cream products. But it's interesting that he's just like dipping into all these powders and doing this fully flawless matte look. And it's just something that I don't really play with a lot, but if you're wanting that fully glam flawless look, it's an interesting thing to try. I'm gonna do one more little hint of blush because the first layer he went in with the powder, he was really, really specific. And then it kind of, like it seemed like he diffused it and blended it out a little bit more as he was dipping between the powder. So I'm just gonna be a little bit more widespread with this layer of the blush. Is that too much? I feel like that's too pink. I feel like I went, it's too much. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. <laughs> Applying this to my upper and lower lashes. Then we're taking a little bit of gel liner into the waterline. Always a very painful experience for me. <laughs> This is just endless steps, my friends. Let's do the lips. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao, and it seems like he really took his time like carving this out and making it perfect. I'm gonna do my best to follow suit. So once he's done applying the liner, it looks like he took a really like pinky flesh tone lipstick and he's like, I'm not gonna say what this lipstick is. And I want to say my pal, that is so rude. So I'm gonna flip through a couple of different options that I have. First of all, I have the Charlotte Tilbury KKW, which seems very fitting, but it also feels a little bit too nude, not pinky enough, but we're gonna try it. And he applied the lipstick with a brush in the center. Oh, you know what? That actually gives quite the vibe. I feel like, Maybe I need a little bit more of a warm toned lip liner. I think this might be too dark, but that actually works. That works. I like the effect of it applied with a brush like this. How very fun. Their lip colors always look so incredible. Like I need a list. I beg of them. I beg, please give us the lip colors. Cause this, yeah, this is giving gray, not at all. Maybe we need to just try maybe a lighter one. But I actually really like this combo. I would just love to know what it is exactly that they use. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little something crazy. I'm gonna take a little bit of NARS Roman Holiday, this really, really bright pink, and I'm just gonna plop that right in the middle because sometimes, sometimes Kim in particular, her lip can seem like just a little bit more, more pink, you know? Yeah, just a little, little hint, a little touch of that warmth. I like that. It just like fuses with the blush a little bit better for my eyeballs. So once the lip was done, he went in and did highlight. He did this as a last step, which I thought was interesting. 
and you just took like the smallest little like the tiniest little brush and did nose highlight like that just like a little woo. i usually just rub so much of this like maybe i just really need to be more particular with my placement and then he also took this on the inner corner Sorry, I also forgot to mention that he did put lashes on, which would give it a much more like fluffy look on the lashes, but I'm just gonna leave it as my own. And finally, setting spray. <laughs> the headband absolutely ruined the front of my hair. <laughs> So that's the makeup look done. I have literally been recording for two hours. This is the longest that it has ever, ever taken me to do my makeup and I didn't even get to the lashes. I was like, I am not doing lashes right now. But there's a lot of fun tips and tricks that we learned in here. I was really excited. I have been dying to put this makeup look to the test. Of anything, I just wish that they would spill the beans, spill the secrets on what the lip colors were, because I feel like this was just not it. This is not quite the lip that Kim has been rocking. Like, it just looks so good in the show. I can't stop staring. I'm like a little creep staring at her lips, like, what is on? your lips. <laughs> but that's the makeup look, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with me. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys have any more tea, if you have any more secrets that you know that I don't, in terms of the products that they are using, on the Kardashians' faces. Please let us know in the comments down below. You guys, thanks so much for playing with me today. And I will see you all very, very soon for a new video.